Hey there, I'm going to show you how to get perfect reverb for your lead vocals using FabFilters Pro R plugin. It's really easy to use and I'm going to guide you step by step. I'm Sir Classy and this is SC Toots. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. All right, so here's the FabFilter Pro R plugin in the default settings, as you can see right here. So I'm going to turn it on and play it back so you hear how it sounds with our lead vocal. Now, this is the least ideal way you want the reverb for your lead vocals to sound, right? Because you want your reverb to put your vocals in some sort of space, but at the same time, make it sound really professional. We're going to use a preset. We're not going to dial all of this from scratch because as a beginner, you may find it really hard to understand what all these do as they go. So it's always easier to start with presets as a beginner. So we're going to click this default settings um, tab right here, right? And then we're going to come down to medium. And in medium, we'll come all the way down here and we'll see a preset called vocal to mix glue. Now, this is what we want to select. We'll select this, but we're not done yet. So let's listen to it now and see how it sounds. Now, it still, it still doesn't sound really natural or sound as good as the reverb should be on the vocal, especially when you compare it to some of your favorite songs that you hear on Spotify or on radio or on TV. So now here's what we're going to do, right? We're only going to touch the mix knob for now. We're going to start. We're going to take all this all the way down, right? So it sounds like there's nothing on it. Because if I turn it off... So it sounds like there's nothing on it. So the mix knob is just like the amount of the effect on it you want. So now, now that it's all the way down here, we're going to dial it up till we hear just a little bit of it um, on our vocal. As soon as we hear the effect on our vocal, then we can just stop there. And I advise you use headphones for this. Headphones is best. It's easier for you to hear reverb tales with studio grade headphones. So I'm going to take this blade. So we're going to play it and adjust accordingly. Alright, that sounds really good, right? So there's something else you can do to maybe really make it more brighter or make it more exciting. You can just increase the brightness right here, maybe to midway, and then we'll listen. Love you. Now that sounds good, but there's something else that we also need to do the final step, right? So we're going to come right here, right? This pre delay tab right here. Then we're going to click this, this padlock right beside it. And we're going to select this last icon right here, and you're going to see 1 over 30. So what this does is that it synchronizes the reverb with the tempo of your track right here. Whether No matter the tempo, whether it's 100 BPM, 150 BPM, it synchronizes it, right? So now we're going to listen. Love you, I need you, see I want you, can't, can't hurt you, cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life, I love you. Now that sounds really good. And you, like I said, you can, if maybe you feel like the reverb is too much, you can still reduce it a little bit right here by dialing this down, right? Love you, I need you, see I want you, can't, can't hurt you, cause I need you in my life, I need you in my life, I love you. Now, this sounds most ideal. You see, we have just about 3%, about 3.8% of the mix dialed in. You don't have to go crazy by having 10%, 20%. So for your lead vocals, this is the easiest way to get it done. This is going to get you through if you're trying to send out a demo, if you're trying to maybe make song covers, or even maybe trying to put out some of your own songs out there. So to get your lead vocals sounding right with reverb, this is an easy way to get it done. So if you've been struggling with getting pro mixes, making better beats, 
recording vocals. I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. Yes, one-on-one -on -one training. And all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one-on-one -on -one training. You fill a very simple form so I can help understand you better and what you need and how I can help you get there. So when you fill this form, I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible and we can get started on your journey to making much better music in no time. Trust me, it doesn't have to be a house. So making music doesn't have to be a house. You don't have to spend many, many, many endless hours on YouTube looking for tutorials. With just a very short time, within about four to six weeks, roughly within that range, I can get you to your goals in no time. Yes, with money back guarantee. So don't forget to click the link in the description after you're done with this video to fill up a form and I'm going to get back to you pronto. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. Some last tips I'm going to leave with you, right, is um, as a beginner, right, I'd not recommend that you touch these many buttons right here because it can really be overwhelming and you may never hear some of the effects you're doing because some things are not triggered until you alter something else, right? So I advise you st stay clear of all of this for now as a beginner. And also make sure you're using headphones to monitor your reverb and you can cross check with your studio speakers until you find maybe the perfect balance between your studio speakers and headphones where you feel that um, mix, the amount of mix is perfect for it. And also make sure you, your, your vocal is well compressed, right? The compression setting is great for your lead vocal. And also make sure you EQ properly so that you don't have um, resonance issues or low end mod um, spoiling your reverb sound, right? You want your reverb to be as clean and as clear and as sweet as possible, right? So you have to make sure that your compression and your EQ and even your recording quality while recording your vocals into it, make sure it's great. Try and make sure that you take out the noise or you record in a place where there is no noise and echoes to get even much better um, reverb tails and reverb settings while mixing your lead vocals. All right then.